When does business get easier? Man, I love this question. There's a lot that um, that I can say here, <laughs> but uh, let's roll straight into it. Welcome to the Build My Sports Biz Show, where we talk about how to create, build, and scale your own local sports training business. Let's go. It's time to get started with your host, Ben Neighbors. The show starts right now. All right. And uh, I guess there's a disclaimer here when I go through this question that, you know, I've been self-employed for a very long time, uh, over a decade now. And not only that, but I've, I've started multiple businesses um, I have been very consistent doing things for a very, very long time. And um, this isn't coming from someone who just like randomly started shooting some YouTube videos or randomly thought it would be a good idea to help coaches. Like, this is coming from someone who has a ton of experience, right? So that's my disclaimer. Um, and what I would say too is a lot of coaches that might watch this later on will. I, they might unsubscribe from my channel because they might not have the same uh, belief system that I have with business, all right? So with that being said, here's my answer. Uh, you know, a lot of coaches will reach out. They'll say, well, Ben, you know, with experience, does your business get easier? Like, when does it start to get easier? Because it's feeling really hard right now. And the reality is it is always going to be hard, Right. And if it was easy, nobody would have a job, right? Nobody would ever want to work for someone if being self-employed was easy, right? Being self-employed is absolutely difficult, right? It's even for me now, it's still very, very hard, right? The amount that you have to learn on a day-to-day -day basis, um, the amount of uh, challenges and adversity that you're going to face every day, every week, every month. Um, it's not for everyone. Most people are not cut out to do it. And you know, a lot of people now, like they, they flock to starting their own business because they think it's cool. They, they think, oh, I wanna be like that guy or I wanna be like this girl. But they don't know what it takes to, to succeed. And I'm not talking about the short term, I'm talking about long term, right? Being in business for 10 plus years, something most people can never do, right? Never. Uh, the amount of grit that you have to have, uh, the amount of patience and persistence that you have to have. I mean, you have to have that at an incredibly high level, otherwise you're gone, right? And the business, in my mind, like, unless you just like want to stay the same, if you stay the same, like, you'll be running into the same problems over and over and over. You're not going to be willing to change. So if you aren't willing to change, then you're going to stay stuck, in your business. So that means like business will always be somewhat difficult, but it's going to get a lot harder as you start to uh, raise up a little bit. As you start to get to the next level, you're gonna have newer challenges that are more difficult than your current challenges, right? And those are things that just don't go away. Like just because you're more successful in your business doesn't mean it's easier, right? It doesn't mean it's easier. And what I've seen as, you know, when you start dealing with more clients, business becomes harder. You start dealing with more payments, business becomes more difficult. You start charging more money, the business is harder, right? You start cutting clients, it, it's uncomfortable, all right? There's, when, you know, when you go, when you evolve your business, it will always be a little bit harder and harder and harder. And I say that because I don't want to to give the message that you know it's just going to be a, a day in the park. It's going to be easy, right? It's not. It's not. It's absolutely hard. And I'm at the point now where when you know when coaches ask me, you know, should I start a business or should I do that? Like, you know, I, I always say now, like, if you're asking me to start something, I, I, why would you ask me? All right. I, if we don't personally know each other, if I don't know what your work ethic is like, I don't know how disciplined you are. Hey, you know, that's like me asking you, hey, should I start this? I mean, how, how would you respond to that, right? So short, you know, short answer here, no, it gets harder. 
all right business will get harder it will you'll have more challenges as you grow and develop especially like if you hire someone if you hire someone like that's going to completely change how you run your business or if you partner with someone all right those things will drastically change the difficulty of your business all right and if you're looking for an easy way out the easiest thing that you can do is just stop running your business and go work for somebody because i can assure you it will not be easier now I want to say that, and you know, I'm going to end this video here with with one one thing. As far as you know, making it easier for yourself, if you have systems in place, if you're really disciplined, if you have processes in place, those things can save you time, right? So technically, the business can be run smoother, right? As an operational, you know, from an operational standpoint, which is essentially what I do with coaches, I, I make that piece of their business run smoother. But the challenges are still going to be there. And you're going to be facing new challenges year after year. And for example, look at what happened with COVID. Right? COVID wiped out millions of coaches and trainers across the world in a very short amount of time. And those who weren't persistent enough, they are working for someone else now. People that are like me, that you know, I put my head down during that time. I was like, no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna figure it out. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make it work. Uh, are still in this business, and I do believe this. And you know, this is just my opinion, but I, I think people that are in this industry, that coaches, trainers, uh, that are still in it, they're the ones who deserve to be here in the first place. Everybody else who stopped because of because of a big challenge, right? Everybody else who stopped should not be here. All right, should not be here. All right, so again, as you grow, you will expect bigger challenges, harder challenges. You're gonna have to overcome a lot more than you currently are right now. But that's the whole point, right? It's gonna be like that with everything. So hopefully this helps. And uh, if you are a coach watching this video, you wanna get in touch with me, it's very simple. You're gonna see my number pop up here on the screen. Shoot me a text message there and like I say, I've been saying this in my recent videos, I set up 10 to 15 minute Zoom calls with coaches that need some advice, need some help. Um, I don't have anything to sell on those calls. I just wanna get to know you, talk with you. Um, and you know, if you are a good fit for one of our programs, we can talk about that. But my point of those calls is to chat with you and to try to point you in the right direction, all right? That's it for today's message. Hopefully this helps. I hope you can execute on what we're talking about here. You know, business is going to get harder and harder. That's that's just life.